Good morning, everybody. It's Dave here, Holiday for Two. And I hope you're having a good day, and I hope you have a good week ahead. Today's video is my pick for the top five BLM and dispersed campsites in Arizona. I'm not going to include state trust land because I wanted all these spots to be spots so you don't have to pay a fee. I know there's a lot of other camping in Arizona that I'm not going to include in this. If you have any suggestions of places to camp that are free and dispersed camping, BLM, put them in the comments section below. Uh, maybe I can do a video on them in the future sometime. So if you like this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up like button. Don't forget to subscribe and then ring that little notification bell over on the side. That way you'll be notified when I put out more videos in the future. So let's get to it. My pick for the top five free BLM and dispersed camping in Arizona. Let's take a look at them. So someday when my ship comes in, I know just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. Welcome back everybody. So before I get started on this, I want to say what my criteria was, why I didn't pick some spots. I wanted spots that are easy to get to. That was my first important thing to consider. Are they easy to get into and easy to get out of? Because not all BLM or dispersed camp areas are easy to get in and out of, especially if you have a 30 foot RV or a long trailer uh, or a car camper with a tent. All right, there are lots of great places to camp, but not all of them are easy to get to. So that was my first criteria. Second criteria is location. I tried to pick spots that were in different areas of the state so that you could see different things while you're there. As with any BLM or dispersed camping, there are things that you need to consider. You need to make sure you bring your own water, uh, prepare to have electricity, uh, generator, solar, because there are no facilities available at BLM campsites. So you have to you have to take your garbage in and out, those kind of things. So let's get to it. Number five. My pick for number five is Pump Station Road, BLM camping near Marana, Arizona. Let's take a look at it. I recently camped down here and I discovered this little gem. I've never been here before, but I did a video on this spot. I went and camped there for a night in the truck it's a great spot there's tons of room out there it's near a little town called Aver Valley which is another uh, little town that's near a bigger town called Marana which is another town that's close to Tucson and it's a great spot because the location if you uh, camp out there there's probably I'm gonna guess enough room for 35 40 campers to spread out in that area there's also a glider port near there just to the southwest of there, El Tiro a glider port so if you, if you get the right time of year you might catch gliders taking off and landing from there uh, this is a perfect spot for desert camping from fall winter and spring it's not such a great spot for summer camping because the temperatures can get pretty warm there in the summertime I'm gonna say uh, in this winter time you're looking at temperatures 75 80 ish to lows 45 50 at night it can sometimes rain, so always watch the weather wherever you go, but it's a great fall, winter, and spring camping area. It's close to the Titan Missile Silo, just south of there. There's a, it's not the Titan Missile site that you can walk down inside. This is another one. This is kind of a self-discovery uh, site that has little displays out on top uh, on the ground level. But it used to be a Titan Missile site, and you can go walk around, and there's little plaques and stuff that give you information about uh, how they built it and everything and it's not too far from uh, the El Tiro uh, glider port you're also close to the old Silver Bell mine as well as Tucson Mountain Park a few miles south of there so check it out that's pump station BLM camping near Marana and Tucson Arizona number four my pick for number four is Rim Road camping along Forest Road 300 now this is a tough one because Forest Road 300 runs for many, many miles. And I'll show you all of these places on the video. I'll give you a little map uh, on the video so you can see what I'm talking about. The spot that I'm going to refer to specifically is a little spot that you can camp along Rim Road, Forest Road 300, just east of Payson, between Payson and 
Uh, it's actually near a little town called Forest Lakes, Arizona. It's about two miles east of there. And then you're going to look for a sign that says Black Canyon Lake off to the side of the road. And all of these, I'm going to put little uh, pictures in the video so you can see what I'm talking about. If you're coming from Forest Lakes and you're going east on the 260, or you're coming from Heber and Overgard and you're coming west on the 260, look for the sign that says Black Canyon Lake exit. And you're, if you go too fast and you're not watching, you're going to go right by the, you're going to go right past it. <laughs> it's very easy. But that exit right there will take you down Forest Road 300. Or sometimes it's called the Rim Road. And you're going to go about another mile or two south of there. And then you're going to see a bunch of areas where you can disperse camp. And this is uh, in the, I believe this is Tonto National Forest. It's either Tonto National Forest there or it's Sitgreaves National Forest. Uh, because there's a line somewhere in there where they cross over. But it is National Forest and it's dispersed camping. If you watch in the corner up here in the video, I'm going to put a link uh, to a video that I did on Rim Road where we went and camped there and there's more information on it. Be sure to check that out. If you want more specific information on Rim Road, check out my video on Rim Road Camping. Great spot, lots of areas, plenty of room for 40, 50, 60 RVers in there. Lots of room to spread out. Number three. Here we go to number three. Number three, Schnebley Hill Road near Munns Park, Arizona. Now Schnebley Hill is a great little spot, easy to get to. It's just a little south of Munns Park. If you're going up I-17 to Flagstaff from Phoenix, you're gonna look for the Schnebley Hill exit. You're either gonna exit to the right and go under the bridge or exit to the right if you're coming south from Flagstaff and then you'll be right there at Schnebley Hill Road. Um, there you can camp, actually camp on both sides of the freeway. Uh, the best side is to the west side of the freeway of I-17. And I also, I have a video on Schnebel Hill Road, so I'll put a link up here, a card, so you can click on this link and find out more information on Schnebel Hill Road. Now, why I picked this, not only is it easy to get to, you're close to Munns Park, you're also close to Flagstaff, but if you have a vehicle with you that you're towing, or maybe you have an ATV, a quad, dirt bike, a Jeep, four-wheel drive, uh, Tacoma, small pickup, whatever, it's a great spot to camp there and then take a ride down into Sedona on Schnebel Hill Road. Now be aware, Schnebel Hill Road down to Sedona is a rugged road. It's not a road you want to take a car down. I have seen cars in the past that go down this road and they get stuck. Uh, I would recommend if you don't take anything that has less than a foot of clearance underneath it because there are places in the road where there are some rocks that you have to go over. Uh, and Conditions on this road can change depending on the weather because if it snows or if it rains, that can affect the uh, the, uh, the road as well. It can make a difference on rocks and things like that. Any information that I think of later, I'm going to put down in the description below for all these. But Schnebley Hill Road is my pick for number three. Number two, Saddle Mountain BLM Camping near Tonopah, Arizona. If you're coming west from Phoenix or you're coming east from Quartzsite, you're going to look for the Tonopah exit and turn and go south. You have to go for about two miles south of that road right there, and I can't remember the name of it, but I'll be sure to put it in the video. But you're going to go about two miles south, and then you're going to look for a road called Salome, S-A-L-O-M-E. I say Salome, some people say Salome. But you're going to look for that road, and then you're going to go west on that road. And I do have a video on Saddle Mountain uh, BLM camping, so be sure to check up here for more information. It's a great spot. There's room out there for, like I said, 50, 60 campers to spread out. It's level and it's easy to get to if you want to do some hiking up in Saddle Mountain. Great hiking if you have an ATV or any kind of four-wheel drive vehicle. There's places you can drive around the mountain itself. There's about a 15... 13, 15 mile loop that goes around Saddle Mountain. Um, it's great and a lot of fun. We, when we had our razor, we took our razor out there and had a lot of fun out there. Great place to look for rocks and just kind of hunt for rocks on the ground. There's lots of what they call fire agates. It's a great spot for just uh, enjoying some peace and quiet. Great sunsets also. 
Saddle Mountain BLM near Tonopah, Arizona. Check it out. That was my number two pick. All right. Number one. I got number one right here. And I really struggled with number one. My first choice was to put something there for Quartzite or Yuma. Quartzite, great spot. There's lots of free places around there to camp. There's also places where you have to pay a fee. But I wanted something that was close, but maybe something that people hadn't heard of before. For my pick for number one is Kofa, Palm Canyon Road National Wildlife Refuge. It's part of BLM land, so there's no fee. We went there. In fact, I'll put a link here for the video that we did on Palm Canyon uh, Road, uh, Kofa. And we camped there for a couple nights, and I'll put a link here in the video so you can click on the card and get more information, see some beautiful pictures of the sunsets and the, the mountains that we took there. Um, why I like it, it's peace and quiet, easy to get to. It's off of the uh, Highway 95. It's about 20 miles south of Quartzsite. I'll put a little link here in the video so you can see where I'm uh, referring to. You're going to come south of Quartzsite for about 20 miles, and then you're going to look for the Palm Canyon Road exit and go east towards the mountains. And there are campsites all along Palm Canyon Road. So just pick a spot. If you want to go all the way back, it's about five miles to the canyon. And when you get back in there, I've seen people camping back in there. Uh, it's great hiking up in the Palm Canyon there. And there's like these palm trees that grow up in the canyon that have been there for years. And I don't know exactly how they got there, but they there's like a little spring that comes down through there and feeds these palm trees. They grow, now they just grow in the wild right there. It's a beautiful spot to go to. So, and it's different. So if you're going to Quartzsite, be sure to check out Kofa National Wildlife Refuge, specifically Palm Canyon Road. Now, all of Kofa is BLM. It's a refuge, a wildlife refuge, but the whole, uh, I think Kofa has like 50,000, 60, 70,000 acres. It's one of the places uh, in the nation where you can find bighorn sheep. So it does have a couple are really cool things to check out. Lots of Jeep trails, lots of old gold mines, old silver mines, all up in the Kofa Mountains. And it's just a neat spot to check out. Kofa. All right, so I hope you liked this video on my five picks for some of the best free, dispersed, and BLM camping in Arizona. And as with any BLM camping or dispersed camping, you're gonna have to bring your own water you're gonna to have to bring some, uh, have plan for power and electricity. So if you use a generator or solar, and then of course, garbage in, garbage out. Just make sure you take care, pack it in, pack it out, take care of the uh, the desert or the forest. Don't leave, leave it like you found it. Hopefully you found it in good shape because we've been to a few spots where I found some messes. So hope you like this video guys. Hope you find this helpful. If you have anything to add or any suggestions of if you have any suggestions of future BLM or dispersed camping that I missed in this video please write them down in the comments section below because chances are we probably have been to them or maybe not been to them but it would be nice to maybe uh, do a video later on of the next five all right so have a great day safe travels wherever you're going it's a great time of year to travel in Arizona well hey any time of the year is great in Arizona it's just summertime you want to go to the mountains. Have a great day. Catch you later, guys. Bye.